Hello, Olive. Teacher Hannah here, ready to read you a story. And today we will be reading Pete the Cat Peeps Big Lunch. So hopefully everyone here had a yummy, delicious lunch so they don't get too hungry while we read this story. Here comes Pete. Pete is thinking about lunch. It is lunchtime and Pete is ready to eat. What should Pete eat? A sandwich would be nice. Yes, Pete wants a sandwich. Pete opens the fridge. He takes out a loaf of bread and he finds a yummy fish. He adds tomato and mayonnaise. Pete looks at his sandwich. It is too small. Something is missing. Hmm. Pete knows what it needs. His sandwich needs an apple. Pete loves apples. His sandwich needs crackers. Crackers are crunchy. Pete loves crunchy crackers. Pete looks at his sandwich again. It is still too small. Hmm. Pete is very, very hungry. Pete adds a pickle. Pete adds cheese. Pete adds an egg, two hot dogs, a banana, and a can of beans. Oh goodness, so much food. Something is still missing. Pete adds ice cream. He takes three huge scoops of ice cream. Uh-oh, Pete's sandwich is too big for Pete to eat. Pete wonders what to do. Pete thinks and thinks and thinks. Hmm. What are some ideas you think Pete can do now with this giant sandwich? Let's think. Hmm. I've got it, Pete says. Pete gets out his telephone and calls all of his friends. He asks them to come over. Everyone goes to Pete's house. They are all very hungry. Pete shows them his big lunch. Are you hungry? asks Pete. Pete's sandwich is big enough for everyone. Dig in, says Pete. Pete's sandwich is good and tasty. Pete's sandwich is very good. Pete's sandwich is all gone, and Pete's friends are full. They liked Pete's big lunch. Thanks for lunch, Pete's friends say. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome, Pete says. Sharing is cool. The end.